Yo, greetings. I am Lies, and I use she, her. And I am Scandal, and I use they, them. And let's play a game together. Ah. Alrighty, we are back in, and Portia says, Wow, Countess's private pool. What an honor. Aren't you honored? Uh, my muscles groan at the prospect of sinking into hot water. Estrez groans too. My muscles groan silently as I can hear them, but he makes an audible groan. Oh, wow. You're so lucky to be in private pool. Him. You uh, sort of like trembles a little bit like. Uh, does some like, like stretching and some know, wiggling into yourself. As she's like. Uh, uh, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Sounds perfect to me. What do you want to do, Kohai? I. Oh. Stay dirty. Oh, my God. What? 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 You can buy Why the, the absolute fuck would you want to stay dirty? What the hell is it? I, oh, no, I don't want to clean, be clean. But not even like, I don't think we need a bath. It's specifically, stay dirty. This is also the first time I've seen, I think. Three options? Like, yeah, for, for especially a premium, premium scene. Premium scene, premium scene yeah. I think. Like, I don't actually think that's very common at all. But also, like, Nadia's and Julian's only had two. Like, you yeah. just have two options. Why would you do Stay three? dirty. What the hell does oh. that even... It's fine. We're going to bathe together because Kohai wants to spend time with Asra. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm very curious at what stay dirty leads to, honestly. Because um, that seems really dumb. It also seems like everyone would go, oh. Additionally, that's refusing your countess's hospitality. Yeah. So that'd be an interesting one as well. Her going, I, I mean... Like, I could see if you have a character, me, like, but the thing is, is, like, within the context of the story, it doesn't work well for me because there's not, like... There's no deeply pressing time constraint yeah. where you're going, oh, we don't have time for that. Right. It's just say, oh, I'm fine. Anyway, we're about to enter a premium scene with y'all guys. If you are new to this, we are about to enter cover-up art territory, where we will ad-lib the contents of the scene as to meet with our agreements with Nyx Hydra and to um, be able to continue our playthrough. Yes. So, um, the art is provided by a lovely artist called Drakanisha, and we are not going to see it until the end, end of the scene, because obviously we're recording without the cover-up. Yes. And so then we can react to it then, but hopefully you enjoy it. We've enjoyed all of the stuff they've made for us they so far. They have fantastic art, and um, honestly, if you want to go check out any um. of their socials or want to commission them yourself... It's down uh, below! It's down in the, below. It's down in the, the description. So also, here we go. Say, oh, for the sake of them. This is a simplified chibi art they are doing for us. They can do much more <laughs> fabulous things. They, they feel, they, I believe they feel like, no, this is not as good as I could do it. I'm like, they look great. They so. do. So, so this is way, way lower quality quote by their own standards. And I think they look fabulous. So all of that good stuff. Yep. Anyway, we're going to bathe together. Woo! So Kohai, I can repeat this line because it was already shown. We bathe together. And then. And Nadia is like, basically, fantastic, marvelous. Wonderful. Just that very, just. Uh, Perfect. Uh, and Asra agrees. Going, Perfect is right. Yeah, marvelous, marvelous. marvelous. Mm, indeed, I agree. And it says, you know what? I need to tell you that we will look magnificent. I really appreciate your support, Countess. We will look great. Don't worry. And also, just there's this very solid idea of going, we'll be hotter after the bath. <laughs> we will be. <laughs> and then, and she's like, I believe you will be. Uh, she's like, mm hmm. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> Asra, oh, we'll be hotter once we're clean. Her. Yes. <laughs> yes, you better. Uh, and so the the two As of us. Oh. Uh, oh. Apparently, it's described basically that Asra is like glowing. He's thrilled. He is so like vibrating, vibrating with, with anticipation. He even like waggles his hand at the countess as as he walks away. He says a really extravagant, like a physical farewell. Uh -huh. Like, uh, as, to both the countess and uh, uh, Portia. Except not, no, not, no, not no, also oh, Portia. Oh, sorry, to the countess as as the um, head servant and handmaiden ushers, a, you know, takes us into bathing. Yes. Uh, to to she, the wet place. She escorts us. Yes. And then Kohai's going to describe oh. what kind of day it is. And also the fact that it's actually earlier in the day than I would have thought. It still looks like sunrise and is being described as very close to sunrise. Yes. Or the thing is, more now, like that particular time frame lasts for a while, so I never know. Like, that could be... But if that's where the height of the sun is, and yeah. we're way up high in the sky, so... And also there's a the mention that it's a little... There's there's some heat. That it's a little it's bit... It's not uncomfortable. So it's humid and, and toasty. 
Yes, and also there is the note that basically there is uh, a lovely fog coming off of the the uh, the pool itself. Yes, the 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 hydration. Yes, I say, and then uh, Kohai appreciates the visuals of the the very early orb in the sky, the very newly lightened day, making the water shine. Uh huh. But it also though catches their interest as 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 they follow the light beams where uh -huh. they go. Wow, there is a gigantic reflective surface here. That's not just the pool. There's actually a separate, basically standing, uh -huh. large, expansive, uh, reflective surface. Yep, and there's also a, a good amount of, um, basically, wall decoration, you know, um, that has been uh, uh, mortared or spackled on. Uh -huh. And that is also uh, reflective and sparkly. Yes. All right, and then... There's a statement that Kohai sees themselves in the great big uh, surface that, that shows your image back to you. Oh, they, they just have sees himself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. they, they look at themselves in the mirror. And then they, and just, they just cannot just help and it just... think it's freaking hilarious. It's deeply funny. They're just like... And guffawing. Astro's just like, hey, what what are you giggling at? Why are you amused? Why, why amusement? And Kohai's just like, oh my god. I am filthy. I am filthy, basically. And like, there's visible, like... Dirt on dirt my face. on my face. Like, <coughs> like not even just a little bit, but like splatters. Uh-huh. And then there's the, 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 the sort of accusatory, oh my god. You didn't let me know. Uh, why, why haven't you let me know before this point? Why didn't you point it out to me? Ah. And, and Aster is just uh, sort of embarrassed, and he actually blushes a little bit, going like, I looked past that, actually, and didn't even think about it because I like looking at you. I never notice what state of cleanliness or disarray you're in. I just think you're fabulous all the time, yeah. is what he says. But yes. a little embarrassed, like, oh, if you care about this, I apologies. Oops. And then uh, and then Kohai. Kohai's like, oh, it's, you don't... Sort of springs to Hang that. On. like You don't see any of the other stuff going on. Oh, what are you looking at? Hey, uh, what 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 do gaze do what you do experience? you hold what when are, you look at my face exactly or myself? And so um, Asra decides to look at the large reflective surface and also joins Kohai nearby them uh -huh. and uh, decides to and it's actually cuddle them closer uh, from from Kohai's back. So yes. reaching. Uh, around Kohai's back. Yep, around. And pulling gently together. Uh huh. And then. And then also have. He uh, like leans his face onto, onto, um, like basically near your neck. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's very affectionate. I'm gazing at both of us. And I just take my head surface and just lay it and on just sort of having the, the top of your arm. You and know? apparently, though, we're really small to be able to do some of that. Either that or he just is leaning down a lot, but it doesn't say that. It just says, punk, you know, head over to the side kind of thing. Uh huh. Um, so it could be. We could actually be similar height in this scene. Ooh. Ooh. Then. Oh, Azra then is a little bold here and being like, well, I, I find myself entranced by your mouth. Uh-huh. Because, wow, the things that come out of them. The things you say. They're glorious. It's just amazing. Um, and then it's just sort of probably more serious would be my guess here. Mm -hmm. is it, and then he's like... The thing, though, that catches most of my attention, honestly, is the orbs in your face. Yes. I is love your, to ocular gaze experience. deeply into um, your irises. Yes, that one. It's just that basically he is in in entrapped by them. Yes. Um, then and he, then he, he describes while blushing in now. reference to the staring deeply into your face with the eye contact. Uh huh. Uh -huh that um, everything else in existence disappears and he has notice of nothing and he doesn't even care and about he, yeah he has anything no else. emotional investment in anything but you yep at all when when there is much looking into the eyeballs he just like the world it do fall away yep it disappears um and then somehow and so there, there must a be movement because generally when you have your head laid on someone's shoulder, you can't well, you have just, your chin. Boink. Oh, your chin on their shoulder. You can't just, if, especially if you're behind them with an arm around them. Right. You can't just kiss them on the lips. Uh, so, so I'm assuming there is a smooch somewhere, whether it's along a neck or along the shoulder. There is no statement of where the smooch happens. No. But it is a, the smooch happens and... I and somehow that gives you though the 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 impression basically through the smooch that it imparts 
uh, basically true honesty. As it, it lets you know that everything he said is genuine. Uh huh. And he totally feels that way. And, and then, then uh, Kohai moans. make a noise. There's moaning. Yep. There's a bit of Kohai moaning. Yep. And then there's some some stroking of like shoulders and lower, and also you know around the base of the neck and jaw, uh-huh. just the whole all the top of your body. I would just oh, gently run. No, apparently the we've moved somehow to be able to do the lip smack together. So this has clarified that actually we are doing a full on kiss kiss. We are now doing somehow. lip smooches. Well, we're so we're like, mouth mouth smooches. You're like this, and then you do this. No, no, no. That's so awkward. It doesn't say that he came around in front of you. And the way he sort of described as petting Kohai, it sounds like he's still behind them. But there is a a full level of we put our mouths together, and there's a there's a gentle like holding of your your face uh-huh. um, in the in the way of just like completely you know just wrapping in his, his hands in his 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 um, hands yeah and around. so and it's just one of those things of going. I'm not sure how you could do that from the back without really twisting the person's head around. Yeah, I was gonna say that's really strange. Sounds uncomfy. I don't I don't understand. Oh, and apparently it was such an intense kiss that there's a decided popping sound. You guys had such lip suction action <laughs> that there is a and yeah, there's there's definitely a sound of release uh-huh. when your faces are are just just finally forced apart by yourselves. Uh, and he takes, you know, his 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 nut finger, mm-hmm. and he just basically strokes your face. His opposable digit. His opposable digit. Mm-hmm. And of course, Kohai takes note of the fact that he is a nose giggler. Yeah, that he giggles without opening his mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which would really piss off Mary Poppins, by the way. So much. People, some people who laugh through their noses. <laughs> yes, it, apparently yeah. he is that person. And then there's an observation, as he looks very amused, that we do in fact have dirt splattered across the front of us. He's like, you know what? I we do have the remnants of wet dirt all over your face. All over your, yeah, your, yeah. your features. And he is deeply amused in this picture now since we can see him again. I'm wondering if he honestly got some, like, like encountered dirt while smooching and he's like, okay, now I notice it. Uh-huh. All right, and then so so Kohai. It's just like now has an experience of. Oh, yep. And sort of Sundari, I'm gonna. Sh- like, There's a very gentle push. Ah, uh, push you away from me, not super mean. And he know. continues to laugh. Uh huh. In just a joyful, bright manner. Uh huh. And then Asra invites, going like, "Okay, <clears throat> what about the water?" And now water. Do you think? Do you think you might wish to water? Mm hmm. And so th- there is a description of. Without responding in any way or getting into the tub, we're already just going down into the water, um, and we we can feel feel the amazing amounts of dirt just and falling just, off of us. Like it's so thick, we can feel it. Like it's just a, soak away. Yeah, like it's one of those things where you're like, "Whoa!" It is a tangible change around me. I can me. see it, it clouding cre- in the water. Yeah, it creates a space, <laughs> and uh, and we sit down all the way up to about our neck or our collarbones. Yes. Yeah. Um, and and then just and then really just like, spread out, oh, very spread out. Oh, unleash the limbs. And apparently, as we spread out, we're also floating a bit. I... Um, and the water is not still; it actually has some sort of like current or. But that's only because disturbance. Astra gets in. Ah, uh, okay. So um, Astra's making the water move. Uh-huh. Uh, it's he's shifting. It really does sound like we somehow like also now have ended up on our back because I can't imagine. Like, Astra honestly cannonballed in there to make you wiggle, because if he just walks in... There... there shouldn't be that much disturbance to the water. The interesting thing is, is it does sound like a strong current shifts you. Uh-huh. Um, which kind of, I mean, Astra cannonball into a, a, a bathtub sounds hilarious. Yes. Uh, but I don't think that's quite what's happening. But that's like what happened but to there Julian, is not him. This interesting experience of we got in and sat down and did some, you know, spreading out of our body. And then now we're floating in that position. I don't float when I'm sitting in a pool, Mm-mm. so but that's what's happening. Um, so that one and and Asra's very making very pleased, relaxed sounds uh, when he arrives in the water. Uh huh. And then he even uh, it it actually uh, verbalizes them, so you get to read it, <sighs> and he's just like, oh, that hits the spot basically. Yes. Yes. Like. This, this is, in this 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 particular thing is magnificent. Top tier experience. Uh huh. Would do again. Ten out of ten. Yep. And then he's like, oh, you know. Let um, me get that mud we were talking about. You know. About. By the way, speaking of mud all over your face, let me let me 
Let me let me clean that for you. Yeah, let me let me get you clean. And uh, he now looks a little bit like just sort of like um, teasing or. Um, Which is actually funny because it doesn't look like a teasing face at all. Uh -huh. And the descriptor is actually basically teasing or sort of impish. Yes. Um, and, and as it's describing as he that he sort of, uh, you know, uh, spreads his arms wide so that you can uh, like slide into them. So I have a can... question. Uh, what? So he climb, you climb into the water and you sink in basically up to your collarbones. Uh -huh. He climbs into the water and it's not defined how far in he goes, but like muscles releasing, retention relaxing. I don't imagine he's only in up to his hips, but he must be because he immediately lays like your neck and the top of you onto his thighs. Like I said, his, he's just been like, ah, I'm going to encase you in my, I've offered, you know, for you to come towards me. And somehow, but like that also him means in a seated position uh -huh. does not have, you know, his, um, his femurs in the water. Yeah, because your your the top of you yeah, is his, laid upon his them. Yeah, his leggies are apparently up like out his, of the water. His the his thighs, mm -hmm. his thighs are not in the water, or at least not significantly in the water enough to cause you any amount of distress when or, you put your when you put your your lovely skull upon his 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 uh the shelf of him sitting. Yes. Yep. Which I thought he'd got in all. What is going? On? So apparently he's sort of sat on the edge. Yeah. And then he invites he like us describes... to come close to him in the, in like the gesture of a hug. But then as we go for him, he he moves us into the position of like face on thighs, yeah. but like sideways, you know, so you can look out at the pool. Uh huh. Yep. I'm just really confused because really the way that they describe that you literally react like your body wiggles when he he. he All he gets did into the water. was put his feet and calves in the water and it moved everything. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, okay, what? Also, like, he not getting clean because, like, he's not in the water much at all. Uh, no. It's fine. And then, um, uh, he apparently is very, very soft as he helps clean, um, up Kuhai. And, and they're really just enjoying it and feel like it's... Very lovely and, uh -huh. and affectionate and gentle. Yeah. It's 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 all over their their their, their like on their nose and their, their cheekbones and yep. their jawbone and it's everywhere. the softest like just uh, sort of probably I'd, I'd I'd be like uh some sort of massage mildly seems a little bit like yeah. that because you know you're really just being like wow I am I am gifted so um th we have our head laid in his lap while he's you know uh, cl cleaning our face right so this is what's going on. And while that's happening, uh, in whatever position that's happening in, we just stretch out like a starfish and put our arms into the uh, cloth he's Your wearing. head is like really smack dab, like in his crotch. Yeah, basically. Just so you know. Because it's describing that the entire uh, robe he's wearing is just floating around you and, and you put your hands in it and sort of play with it. Uh-huh. And like... Yeah. But like so you're sort of like relaxed he posing. So I'm thinking yeah, it's Heavy very much like crutch, a, your your so arms. So it's like up. basically your hair's in his groin and your feet are out towards the pool. That's yep. what it sounds like. Like I said, it's and you're posing. Just, it's starfish or, float. Or, you're floating. It's yeah. the floating on your back starfish float. Uh-huh. Um but also apparently the robe he's wearing floats up like all the way up under your shoulders and you know your arms uh -huh. and you just sort of play with that a little bit. Okay. Mm. And, and there's inquiry. Uh, Are you at ease? Is this nice? Is it, do you like this? Uh, do you enjoy? And uh, uh, there is a, a description of nodding firmly into his nuzzling, body, like into his like not like this, shifting your head in agreement uh -huh. into his body. <laughs> I'm like you're you're nuzzling in and you wiggle your head in agreement. I you just on his groin basically on his groin. I yep. just I will I won't I won't just you know. And yep, then, yep, you bet. This is great. Uh-huh. And then so apparently uh, we know that Astra uh, pays special attention to the dirt upon your face. Even uh, though he was cleaning it earlier, he's still cleaning it now. Still cleaning. And, and then he decides to smooch on each side of your face. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, pay, is paying special attention to the third eye The on area your of head. the third eye. Yes. The area of. The, the, because we don't know if Kohai has one. It's true. We don't know if they even believe I feel in like that sort I don't of thing have a here. Third eye after this. All right. And so Kohai is like, this is so asleep. nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pass out. This is gonna be nap time. And although, even though like he's bent down over me and I'm looking up at him, 
Like, he just looks super damn pretty in the light, but also he looks really, like, deeply invested in, in like, emotionally in Kohai in a uh, way that is both adoration exciting that exciting is... but painful. Yeah. And a little bit I like, usually don't think draining. of that word as, like, being more positive. It's That's, not. like, extreme puppy love, like... So the word they're using here basically feels a lot like it is draining you and wearing you out uh -huh. to feel the amount of attachment and affection. It also, um, I've always, often seen it um, applied to I'm also unrequited like, affection. I have to ask, how far back can you actually look when he's like this? Because I got to tell you, I don't really always figure out my friend's expressions when we're all cuddling up and I got my head in their lap. Like... Eh? I have to admit, like, I'm impressed that you can you just be like, oh, my God, I can figure all this, this particular expression out. So, basically, out. it's that thing where in, like, the old Spider-Man movie where, you know, it's like she kisses him when he's upside down. Uh -huh. It's that kind of staring at each other's faces. Uh -huh. And we're just a really thinking a lot about the amount of emotion we can see on him. Yes. And then uh, it took all of that to actually get your face to a state of not being dirty. Yes, and but also somehow you know this uh -huh. that that you're that you no longer have mud upon your features. Uh, that so much so that you decide to move away from Asra's uh, leggies uh -huh. um, and actually uh, turn around and apparently stare into either his eyes stand again. Stand up or sit on your knees. I'm not sure which one. Just basically so that your your posture is more erect. Your back is straight. Uh -huh, so mm -hmm. you can look deeply into his his eyes, his, his eyes which are smoldering, basically. He has or very shining. Soft... Actually, I get shining more from that. Uh, that's that's, that's oh. not with an Oh, H. I read that wrong. Never no. mind smoldering. You're right. So yeah, smolder. Mm -mm, he's doing, he's the doing the smolder. <laughs> I, uh, have you seen the, the smolder? smolder? This is the Astra smolder time. This is the Astra smolder. But there is, yeah, a level of uh, removing all contact with him and and about facing and then, you know, keeping your spine straight and just going full on eye contact while he does a smolder. Yes. And then there's a statement of, I'm staring Arigato. deeply into your smolder. I really appreciate what you did. Arigato. It was so nice. Arigato. And Astra's like, de nada. Sure thing. Not a problem. You're, You're welcome betcha. to it at, <laughs> at any point. I just request it whenever. Yes. And, uh, and then actually there's the mention that apparently Astra is just... Since when are we touching him? Wait. Beneath our touches. Wait, what? Mm. Oh, I guess we're touching him now. So now okay, we, now have, we, got we have our, our hands, hands close to his collarbone up here. I say, just below his collarbone, splayed over perhaps, you know, his pectorals. Yeah. And uh, we are feeling how oh, he is, his he chest is using rising. his lungs. Uh-huh. We are feeling how he is filling his lungs with air and releasing it. And that it is a very complete experience, a lengthy experience. Uh, very, very heavy. And it makes us just feel really fond of him. Yeah, like, like the just inside, sitting there and our going, heart is doing extreme doki doki. Flutter, flutter, just flutter. Just doki doki. I have the dokis. I have the doki do Oh. And then there is immediately, as we have our hands tapped on his pectorals and we're staring deeply into his eyes and feeling the rhythm of his breath, we have a choice to so, either wash the front of him or his head. Uh, which we will actually, we're telling him this is what we're going to do. And so it's I, a statement, it's not a question, but there there are two choices here for, for the player to choose. And if you either say, I will wash the front of you, like, assumably all of the abdomen, but most of the top half, mm. and I'll, I, I will absolutely clean the top of your head. Or, it's an or, not and. Well, that's what I mean. No, that's what the choices are. Oh, yeah. They are this and this. You okay. get to choose one of them, but that's what they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so... I don't think that Kohai is going to be like, your tits are really dirty, because hair catches so much more things. Yeah. Also, like, most most of skin cleaning happens just by getting into the water, especially yes. if it's already filled with all kinds of stuff, then, you know, that have that have basically made it, you know, like, like cleansing oils and perfumes and stuff like that. Based on what we know of Nadia's bath, every single time it is imbued with lots. With things, yes. Yep. So we're going to offer... To clean his head. Yep, we're going to clean the head. Uh-huh. But it's, a st it's not actually an offer. We're going to tell him we That's are what... going to clean his head. So we tell him we're going to clean your head. Yes. And he's just like, ah. Oh, right. Oh, Hold on. Give me a sec. Yep, that's what he does. He's just like, there's a sort of a level Uno of momento. exciting. But, but wait. <laughs> uh, and so he completely dunks himself. Sploosh. 
Uh, he does, which is actually probably not a bad idea, while Kohai apparently uh, decides to and seems to somehow recognize a a, a, container? a container of... Of, like, shampoo. Of, yeah, or, or something. And you're like, I guess this is fine. Yeah, like, like, like even just this comment. Well, this seems fine. Yeah, it really is a... This, this container seems like it has, like... Stuff that would be good for hair. Which is sort of killing me, because it's like the happen lab. Like, how do you know any of this shit? I'm sorry. Also, though, again, it sounds like Kohai isn't sure. It's just like, this will probably work. Ah. That's really all it is. But I do appreciate that Asra, who had really only gone in up to his knees, is now completely donked. Yeah, that's just good. Just Go- Good, good for job. him. And uh, so apparently we had to get out to go get the container. And now we've come back. Oh. And we straddled him. We straddle him. We straddle his lap. Apparently he's sitting again. Yep. And there, there's a level yep, of like. Yep, that is like he is. Yeah, like our legs are bent as we are on his thighs and sitting and facing him. Mm. So yeah, we, we've straddled into his lap. Uh-huh. And um, that's basically it. It's just, got, we turned to Asteroid, straddled him. That's and what... in the, the not as deep part of the bath. Yeah. Because apparently the bath has several depths. I guess. Okay. Then there's a level of just sticking your hands into his wet locks. Curling, curling your, 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 your appendages uh, into his beautiful locks. Uh-huh. Um, and trying to also, somehow we got the soap out, I guess. Uh, just now we're trying to lather. stick it in the lather into his hair. We're and trying... Astra is just like, I will close me. He looks like he's going to fall asleep too, just like yeah. we were. Mm-hmm. Like apparently the response he has to us just straddling him sort of, um, <laughs> like sort of, confidently and then just pouring soap on top of his head which wasn't mentioned we assume it must have happened yep. and then making his whole head bubbly and massaging it he just wants to go to sleep yeah he 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 do the eye close usually he doesn't respond to us getting in his lap like that but you know what the water must be doing miracles for him i guess <sighs> i'm like whoa you just they're straddling that okay and there's and a he- statement that the scent that's attached to the soap is uh, just fabulous. Yeah, it's so just good. Fantastic. A plus. Mm-hmm. Like it is a little godly. And so yeah, we are in fact uh, just absolutely like continuing to move our hands aggressively through his hair to to make bubbles, tons of bubbles, and making sure we don't get it in any of his like sensitive senses. Uh huh. Don't get it into. We his... don't want burning. Uh huh. We do not want burning on his face. He'd be very yep. sad. No mucus He'd membranes. Be... No yep. tear ducts. No, none of that. Yep. Uh, and being also, it sounds like probably fairly gentle because you're specifically, you know, trying to to cover the well, face. Well, that sounds like it's pretty aggressive in the hair. Honestly. Oh. I was going to say, but then like... No, but it says scrub away uh, from uh, the, the, the face. Like I said, scrubbing doesn't sound gentle to me. Yeah, that doesn't... But it's okay. I don't think we're hurting or attacking No, him. I don't think so It either. just sounds like it's sort of rigorous. Yes. And then suddenly he kind of makes a gesture by sort of like squinting his face. Well, it's just sort of pinching up because the soap is trying... We don't know if that's why. It's just when this happens. I mean... It's just at the time. Okay, so yeah. he's respond. Okay, what we're... I thought that's what I'm saying. So like... there's another way to read it. Okay, there's two ways to read this. One is that a thing happens that we respond to at the end, like at the end of the sentence, as in leading into something else. Yeah. The other way to read it is the thing we do at the beginning, where protecting him from the soap, we did because of a facial gesture he made. Yes, which is what I'm. I think probably much that the, one. The, the latter is correct. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Uh, and then he apparently giggles again, but it's very soft. Uh-huh. Um, but it's done in a way that apparently you could just get the doki dokis is hard. But also like there's a sort of a sadness or a melancholy on those doki dokis. Uh huh. And then uh, st- you, the Kohai's hands are still basically cradling his jaw and cheeks, his beautiful face. Uh-huh. And then he's finally going to uh, peek look at us. Look at us. He's going to oh, looky, looky. And there's an inquiry, as I assume he is covered with tons of bubbles. He goes, finish. Have you completed your task? And there is a waggle of a head in, a, in, in agreement or approval and positivity. And then he uh, donks himself donks again. Donks himself Whoosh. with us still on him. Yes. Um, oh! Hang on. He puts his head... Basically between our thighs, but like closer to the ends where they bend. 
So, so he's got back like this. So, so it's basically he's leaned back to put his head. So we're sitting in his lap straddling him. And he basically he sinks down through and under us to the deeper part of it. So if there's a shallow part over here yeah. behind him, then he sinks into the lower part, just sort of sliding under us mostly, where his head ends up basically between the joint of your legs. I love the almost oral sex position here. So we've had a straddling position. But not quite, because we specifically have said he's far enough away to be between the bends of your legs. No, well, the thing is, but is yes. he could relatively have like sort of long-ish kind of hair. So, I mean, he It's can't... hard to tell because his hair is definitely like running across the bend of your legs. Yeah. So it's not really specific exactly where his head is, except it's definitely between your thighs somewhere. I see. So that. Ah. And, and also completely under the water. So yep. he also dropped us a little bit. This uh -huh. is fine. Um, apparently he doesn't decide to like try to scrub the, the lather out of his hair. He, he tries to like a, a wet dog. dog under the water and just goes. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then apparently he gets up, oh. I guess, because when he's finished doing his thing under the water, yep. it doesn't describe that he comes out of the water, but there is um like an entwining of, of arms, I guess, kind of. He sort of like holds your 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 forearms with, with his. his. It sounds like while while he has so water him, running out of his curls. He would have had to like come up again between your legs. I like and then it. just sort of grip gently at your elbows, kind uh -huh. of thing. He go back to strat. You. He's like yes, return to straddle position. That is great. It sounds like it, and he has lost part of his robe. It has the water has finally made it fall down his shoulders. Oh, cause it's a titty. I was going to say, at this point, you get a nipple shot. Uh -huh. I imagine this is the premium artwork. His hair doesn't look wet, but the robe is pulled down so you can see. I don't see think this is premium distinctively. at all. I think this is pretty. I don't think you see his chest naked in any non-premium scenes. That's true. So I'm guessing that's it. Okay, well, an Astro just sort of says it was, it was great. Good time. I do approve. Uh-huh, 10 out of 10. Uh-huh. Uh, and now there is a level of, of noting the height the water reaches just above our hips as it moves aggressively over us because he's good forward real fast and smooches. Yes. That's all I got from that. Lip, lip to lip combat. So w the sentence starts by describing what the water does to your body because he moves so fast to smooch you. Yes. And then there's a level of the kiss has ended. And as that happens, they're smiling. Astra is just doing the big, huge smile. And he you looks know, really clean. Glowing, and he looks fantastic. He has radiant but features. But also, it's really the, the thing is, is that he seems to be very satisfied with, with gazing at you. At you. Mm -hmm. yep. 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 He just really like that's great. And then he, he describes that we he says, are you, reflecting the light. You glimmer like, like water falling from the sky. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's kind of, it's kind of a cute sentiment. Uh-huh. And then Koha is like, like, but isn't the scent wonderful? But like, just use your nose. Oh my but God. But just like, no, dude. Fantastic. You know what? We are perfumed we so nicely. Perfumed great. Yes. We are just perfumed wonderfully. St just stellar. And he's like, actually, he's like, actually the perfume smells tasty. It says, nom, 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 nom. Uh -huh. He's like, and now I got to tell you. This is the part that I struggle with. The most like, difficult part this is, is the, removing the smell. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually just, no, no, no. Removing ourselves from the tub. Oh, getting, okay, okay, got it, sorry. The hardest, the most difficult part, after you smell tasty as hell. And, and you feel great, and, and you, you look, look so fabulous, good. It's, it's like, end the bath. fuck, this is so difficult. He's like, ending the bath. So hold on, I'm going to make this easier, I hope. Oh, that's what I'm I guessing. will leave the water. You stay there for a minute. Which actually what he does. He leaves the water and he actually then uh uh gets some comes soft back, dry wraps. And then he gets yep, some dry wraps. And then all there's the note that basically he's just the water's puddling his after ba him. His bathing clothes are just draining water like mad. The crazy. And leaving a trail all I across really the tile. Hope nobody runs. <laughs> Do not run by the pool. I mean the bath. Yeah, the bath. And so there's a level of like scooping Kohai up from the water and bundling them in in towels, as well as a, a gentle peck on the side of their face. Uh huh. A, f a final, final smooch. So the you don't have to actually do the hard part of leaving the bath. I will pull you out of it myself. Uh huh. And then I will enwrap you. Yes. And then, um, which oh. is really funny actually, because like 
you're wearing a bathing robe and based on the description of it, it holds quite a bit of water. Yes. And so it's not like a bathing robe that doesn't um, acquire water or get saturated. One that, you know, would sheet things off or or just leave things. It's sort of You know, like a usual bathing robe. Right, like you know how swimsuits don't hold a ton of water. Yeah. Because you know you don't want to be just draining water everywhere and waterlogged the whole time. Yeah. Based on the way we described his bathing robe, what he's doing is he's scooping like a gallon of water into the dry towels. Right. Wrapping it by wrapping it around us, from directly from the tub. Uh-huh. And I, he's got a lot of faith in the absorbency of those towels. Yeah, apparently. A lot of faith. Uh, so then there's actually the notation that um, there the is two some of them. rushing. Zoom. Yep, they sort of rush back through all the of corridors. the corridors, back to where they're staying. Mm-hmm. Um, to and their accommodations. Uh, apparently they are leaving a lot of wet behind them. They're leaving s- puddles in their wake. So if anyone oh. hurries and, and, and rushes. That's it. That is the end of the scene. Okay, yeah, this is it. So yeah, actually, the second, like, he's <coughs> carrying you through the hallway, and then apparently he sets you down. And the here, because we can say all of this, yep. you turn around to close the door, and he's like, I'm done, I'm just sitting on yeah, the bed. Just... So, when I close the door, Astra is already seated on my bed, gleaming in his damp robe. Like, the fact that he's like, I won't stand next to you, I just put you down and then I run away to the bed, is kind of funny. Uh-huh. It's kind of cute. Sort of hilarious. Looks like our old clothes are still being laundered. Oh well. I guess we'll just have to wear these wet robes. Ah, these aren't exactly the outfits I imagined, but they'll work. They'll work for... We'll have to find out what they'll work for, though, in the next one! As soon as we look at the picture! It's true, actually. So, we're going to look at the picture real quick and that see what the That all of you guys like. have been enjoying. That hopefully you've all been seeing and enjoying. Okay, uh, keep going. Is it that one? It's that one. Oh my god, that's cute. Oh god, that's adorable! Okay, the head scrubbing with him laying in the lap is really cute. Oh, that's so fucking cute! I love that. Oh, I look so determined, like, I focused. And he's like, I just gotta go to sleep, this nice. Oh, that's so fucking cute. I'm sorry, that's Jack adorable. Jack that's so cute. I love that little adorable. 40s. Adorable. Yep. Yeah. It's so adorable. It's so good. Ah! That's so good! Okay. So hopefully all of you enjoyed that picture just as much as we just did because Aww. holy cow! That's so precious! Precious. I love it. Alright, so uh, thank you very much then everybody for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos. We really appreciate all the sharing and the liking so far. It's a yeah. lot for us in regards to the YouTube algorithm. Please also feel free again to go check out Draconisha stuff. Yes. Uh, Draconisha is definitely available for commissions. Uh, you can also just go peruse their work. Their work is fantastic. Mm-hmm. And they um, do a lot of Arcana artwork too, mm-hmm. and uh, then, with with um, particularly a couple of special places for some courtiers. Uh, it's true. <laughs> it's um, true. Also, uh, please feel free to go check out our Twitch and our uh, and if you'd like to support us more directly, you can also look at our Ko-fi and Patreon. Yeah, and and our Twitch. <laughs> we also we always love to have people interact on our Twitch. So if you've never used Twitch before, it's very very simple. You don't have to do anything complicated. They don't send emails or anything like that. Nope. It just lets you um, basically play with us live. Yeah. And I was a little bit resistant to Twitch of going. I don't want to either download an app or sign into one more thing. But now that I have it, I deeply enjoy it. So this is not like a plug for Twitch. This is like a if you are going, I kind of would like to go, but I don't know how it'll work. The platform's really easy to navigate. We have a direct link to our channel, and we'd love to see you there if you want to come by. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. And I have been Scandal. And I, I have been Lies. And And it was was great great playing playing with you. you. Bye!